Well, g'day, uh, and this is me just explaining quickly how to install the data pack and how to use the data pack. Um, so I've got a spreadsheet here with a randomly set up set of data. Um, I've just called them explanatory and response, the variables. So I don't know what the data is, but you can apply this to your data as you wish. And um, here is an indication of a graph that I've got I'm dealing with. It's pretty good data. You can see there the R squared value is quite high. Um, and I've got my linear model on that data. But what I really want to do is a residual plot. Um, and so thank you to Ms. Holmes who has found this. And I believe some of you who are doing biology might already know about this. But if you don't, here is how you might install the data pack and create a residual plot. So if I want to install the data pack, if I haven't got it on here already, if you want to check if you've got it on or not, Go to data, the data tab along the top, and if you already have it, data analysis will be here. So that's what you're looking for, that data analysis tool. Um, if it's not there, uh, or perhaps adding the pack actually adds that tool, so I'm not 100 sure, then, um, then go into your file menu. So I've just clicked on file, go down the bottom to options, and in options, head down to the bottom to the add-in section there. Now, you want to manage your add-ins. You need to have the analysis tool pack add-in, which is not automatic. So you can get this add-in by manage Excel add-ins down the bottom. Just click go. And there are going to be some options here. Now, I just made sure that this was ticked, this box, and I clicked OK. And that created that add-in for me. It gave me the option to do a residual plot. So I've done that. Now, if I want to do a residual plot, now that I've got that add-in, I head across to this data tool and I click on data analysis. So I've clicked on it now. And you can see I've done this before. There's lots of stuff you can do here. Um, I go to the regression tab here, click OK. And this is my regression and residual plot area. Uh, certainly the way that I know how to do it, there might be other ways. Um, so I'm not worried about too much, but what I am worried about is making sure first that I calculate my residuals and my residual plot. So that's my first thing. And you can play around with some of the other things. There might be some other interesting things to play around with. But for now, that's the statistics that I want to do. I need to input my Y and my X range. And it's back to front. Remember, Y is the response and X is the explanatory. So I click on this little up arrow here. And I choose first of all my Y, my response. Make sure I get it the right way around. And then I choose my X values, my explanatory. Okay. So now that I've done that, I just click OK and watch this amazing thing happen. So it's come up with a whole bunch of statistics. Um, it's got my R value, my R squared value, adjusted, standard error. You don't need to worry too much about those, but your R and your R squared might be helpful for you. Um, and ANOVA analysis, again, not that important to you, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, you have some coefficient um, information here. 95% uh, lower bounds, upper bounds in a confidence interval. Again, not important. Here we've got a residual output. So I've got each of my observations, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is my data points, the predicted Y value, and therefore the residual. So that comes straight from my linear regression. And in my original data, back on sheet one, I've got my actual. These are the observations. So my actual for data point one was 21. My predicted was 21.41569. So my residual will be actual minus predicted or observed minus predicted. And that is this value here. Now, if we go along, it will plot my X variable. So that's my explanatory variable against my residuals. And I get this random plot here. And it's good as random. There's no pattern there, which is an indication to me that I'm, it's appropriate for me to use a linear function to, um, to plot this data. Um, so that's how you can plot a residual. Now, if you want to check, because I, I know there's a few people that have been doing this have been finding they're getting the X and Y back to front. If you want to check, you can see this first data point's at three, and it's a residual that's slightly below the line of best fit. I go back to my sheet one, see my three data point here. Uh, it looks like it's slightly below. My data point at five is slightly above, and my data point's at six. One is below, one is above, approximately. If I go back to my residual plot, 3 is below, just slightly, 5 is clearly above, and then at 6 I have 1 above and 1 below. I can do a bit of a check just to make sure I've got that right, and then I can go and use the, the, um, the usual tools. So if I right click on the axes here, I can format my axes, I can spread it out if I need to, um, I can also update my axes labels as I need to. 
There it is, creating a residual plot with any work at all. Happy days.